Hello. Um, today I actually have a recipe that I wanted to make for my meal prep. So I figured I'd do it in front of all of you. Um, so the recipe is a stuffed tomato basil chicken, which sounds amazing. Now, I'm doing a little more um, than they said, because I'm going to be cutting the chicken in half, but I think they're a little big for one meal. Um, I mean, look at this sucker. It's huge. Okay, so I got my cutting board. I'm gonna take my knife. I actually bought this knife. It's a whole knife set I bought online. So, um, and they're all nice and colorful. And I actually have the um, what's it called? A metal bar in order to keep them on my wall. So I'm gonna cut it in half first so that they make this one piece of chicken. It's gonna do two meals. And then on the recipe, it says to cut with a sharp knife and horizontally. So horizontally, vertically, horizontally. So come this way in half. Uh, not all the way through, just slice it. So I'm gonna slice it. I've never been good at these ones. And then it says, open the chicken breast like Place chicken and marinade into a large reasonable plastic bag or refrigerate for 30 minutes. So this is going to be a couple part video, because um, first I'm just going to marinate them, but I'm going to marinate them right in the pan that I'm going to be using. There we go, that's better. So I'm going to make, end up making four meals out of these two pieces of chicken by doing it this way. I've actually got some reusable bags. I bought these also on Amazon. Um, I, I've actually made a recent, uh, I don't know, goal to stop using Amazon as much and start using more local businesses. But unfortunately, most of the local businesses right now are out of commission because of COVID-19. As I make this video anyway, I don't know when I'll actually get around to posting it, but. Oh, hands are greasy from the chicken, so. I'm gonna marinate them for about 30 minutes, if I can get this open, in a herb and garlic uh, marinade sauce. Uh, this one is Laurie's. I think it's the cheapest one available. But it's good. I've had it before. Shake, 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 shake. Two, but I think one is actually enough. So I'm going to close this and set it aside for 30 minutes. Now, after that, Um, I'm going to preheat the oven and place the chicken breast on a broiler pan um, and then place some basil in the middle 
as well as some tomato slices. So when we get to that step, I will show you how to do that as well. Thank you. I should be back in 30 minutes. Hello, it's been 30 minutes. Um, so while I get the chicken prepared, I'm actually going to be preheating the oven. Um, the recipe says 500, but I'm gonna have it at 450. So, I've got my pan here that I've got tin foil down. I've been using um, different things lately for cooking, just to practice with them. So, I'm actually going to use a little bit of olive oil, um, well, avocado oil, just on it. It also adds an element of healthy fat. Just so it doesn't stick, you know? So that should be good. This stuff is actually seven bucks, but I'm getting a lot of uses out of it. Um, now let me get the chicken out of the fridge. And I'm gonna put the open chicken on here. Alright, gotta wash, rinse off my hands here real quick because I still got a little bit more to do. Alright, so I'm gonna just place some basil inside. Um, and then a couple of tours of maybe tomato slices, so I've got my tomatoes. Um, instead of using straight basil, I'm actually going to use a little bit of Italian. I'm gonna make sure I get in the middle. There we go. And some garlic powder. I think garlic is one of my favorite seasonings. Now I'm gonna take my knife and cut a few slices of tomato. In between my slices. I might try to see if I can get my computer over um, so I can show you what it looks like when I'm all done and before I put it in the oven. So I actually 
actually have a little extra tomato, which isn't always bad. I can probably use your tomato. But for now, I'm gonna tell you that. Alright. I'm gonna top a tomato and a slice of cheese. So we got provolone cheese for that. And I'm just gonna split a whole slice right on top of my chicken. And now I can actually put my tomato in here so that it can, you know, put that back in the fridge. Slice hickory smoked for this. Um, it is looks kind of got even though it's not turkey, it is low sodium flavor. So I don't know if I can easily like, wrap this up, but we'll see how I do. I've never been the best at stuffed chicken. I've been experimenting more with cooking uh, and trying different recipes. I made a zucchini, before I started making videos, I made a zucchini um, lasagna that came out pretty good. Uh, basically, instead of using zucchini, I mean, instead of using lasagna noodles, you use zucchini. Um, and for that, I used ground turkey, because I can stand of that kind of turkey, but for some reason, the turkey bacon, it doesn't give the recipes the same... I don't know, flavor, I guess. It just doesn't taste as appetizing to me. I do know other people who love it. So this is kind of a timely process. Um, I might do more meal prep videos too. Um, as I said, mostly me just experimenting with new recipes. Um, I actually break down the ones I like in a recipe book. So this one is actually gonna make four meals, um, and I'm actually going to have, I have a thing of frozen veggies I bought that I'm going to add some seasonings to and add to it, but the thing with that is I don't think I have enough veggies to go around, so I might need more veggies. Um, so far this looks like it's going to take, you know, a while, like a while just to get this process done and my oven's not even preheated yet, so. I got a little time. Um, I'm just hoping they fit in my meal prep containers. The chicken ended up a little bigger than I thought. Probably should have cut them in hand, but because you know it's not at, it's not like what you're supposed to have. Because for nutrition, um, they say technically your meat, your meat, your portion of it, your protein. Um, should be about the size of your fist. Yeah, these are, or a deck of cards. Mine are, you know, a little bit bigger than that. Um, I think it's also because of how I stacked them. And it doesn't say to do this, but I'm actually going to put a little bit of the um, 
dressing on the top as well. I think it will give it a nice flavor. then I can wash that because it's a reusable bag. Um, I'm going to try to give you a good image of what it looks like now. And then when I come back, I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Um, apparently it takes, let's see, according to the recipe, 15 minutes, then turn the chicken and cook for 15 more. Um, and then you're supposed to have Parmesan and sprinkle over it. I don't have Parmesan. So I'm just going to do 15 minutes. Um, turn the chicken and cook for 15 more. So. Let's see if I can get a good image without it going everywhere. It's lying, but I think you can see it. There. There's a good image of it. And now uh, it's not quite preheated, so. But I will be back and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Bye! Hello, my chicken's not done yet. Uh, I've still got about 16 minutes. I had to cook it for a little bit longer where I did it at a lower temp. Um, I just checked on it. It's actually doing really well. I just wanted to show some of the things I do while I'm waiting for it to cook. So, I do a lot of, while I'm waiting for that to cook, I do the cleaning um, and cooking stuff up. Um, some vegetables right now, which is a bag of frozen vegetables. Um, I think the bag's actually right here on top of my trash, so I'm going to pull it out real quick. It's this. If you can't read, it's shredded um, potatoes, sweet potatoes with broccoli and flour and cauliflower florets. Um, it wasn't enough vegetables to go between all four, so I added a little bit of corn, uh, canned corn, and mixed it up. Uh, I spiced it with a little bit of Italian and some of the leftover garlic and herb seasoning. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but I've got these containers. I need three dollars for at Walmart. Um, I've got ones that are one compartment and ones that are two, so, and I got labels too, so I can write on it, stuffed chicken, tomato, basil, and put the chicken in with some vegetables, close it up and put it in the freezer, and this one I can actually separate because it has two compartments. Um, the way the chicken is, I, it should fit perfectly in there, I'm hoping, um, I didn't do the right amount. as far as meat goes, but I plan on it. And then I put them in the freezer, and then I stack them. So then I take them out as I need them. So one of the other things I did before I started making videos um, is I took, I saw that you could do stuffed burgers and put them in the freezer. So I made mushroom and cheese stuffed burgers. Um, at some point I might cook them just to see how they come out and show you guys. Um, as I said, I know I only have like nine subscribers, but Oh, I've got my apron on. Let's go my apron just in case, you know. That's why I bought this thing. Isn't it so adorable? I mean, look at this thing. It's adorable. It makes me look like I'm ready to make some cookies. Which I might do again sometime. I'm working on trying to make cookies, like protein bar cookies with protein powder. Um, but every time I do, they end up falling apart on me. They taste great, but they fall apart. It's weird. Um, I've been told it's because I don't put enough of a thickening agent in it, um, but I can follow it. But like, I follow the recipe exactly, so I don't get it. But before this gets done, I've still got another 13 minutes, um, so I'm just going to shut it off and, you know, edit all of them together. I just want to show you my cute little containers. And then when it's done, I'll put it up to the screen and show you what the chicken looks like afterwards.
So, thank you. Bye. Hello. Okay, I'm back. Once again, I forgot to my run on again, but I've got my own mitts. And we're gonna check on chicken. Cheese all snakes and stream. I'll show you once I'm done putting this away. See, some are bigger than others. steaming too. I don't know how it will actually look if I do it while it's still steaming. I'm gonna wait for this to cool down before I go about cleaning that. setting the pan down so we can cool off before I do anything with it. Um, I also have to get some veggies in here.